Robert Fico, the Prime Minister of Slovakia, who's been a very open critic of the West war in Ukraine, have been shot. Robert Fico was meeting with supporters when a gunman hiding in the crowd shot him in the head and in the chest. Robert Fico is currently in critical condition and we will know his fate maybe a few hours after I finish this video. This is very significant and interesting because Slovakia is one of the few NATO nations that are not completely subservient to the United States. Robert Fico said that we can pour all the money and all the weapons in the world in Ukraine and we will not defeat Russia. So we need to consider peace options and negotiation. Apparently, Robert Fico simply advocating for peace in Ukraine was enough for Western media to paint him as some sort of Putin puppet. But he's become very pro-Russian over the years, and one wonders why and how, but maybe that's his conviction. They, they dig their toes in against um, aid to Ukraine or uh, and against um, uh, any sort of sympathy mm. with Kiev. And they keep saying, look, we, we want the war to finish. And by, by that, they mean they want the Russians to succeed and then the war will be over if Ukraine would just surrender and give up territory. And so that's the view he takes. Now, that's very um, divisive in Slovakia. It's divisive within the EU. So it's not, su not surprising that... I mean, that this sort of event might take place. Maybe if you guys listen to Robert Fico, there would be less dead Ukrainians and NATO in the West would be in a better negotiation position with Russia. We also had Robert Fico, who was a vocal critic of the WHO pandemic treaty and refused to sign it. So the leader who wanted normalized relations with Russia, who criticized NATO proxy war in Ukraine, who criticized the WHO's pandemic policies, was also a victim of a brutal assassination attempt. How convenient for the West. We came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, oh, I'm sure it did. Uh, what's popping? What's popping, my friends, my family? We are back again. Bro, Thursday is always a special day at RBN because not only do we got this banger today with my good friend Lee Camp, we got Savvy and JB uh, going live later today. New start time, 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. Banger after banger on a Thursday. And I had to show the hotspot that my hotspot brother Nico put out as well. You guys know uh, Nico joined us on the first episode of the New Era with my friend Misty Winston. You guys know we stay community, uh, in community with that smart brother. Not only that, bro, I'll tell you, we got so much planned in this new era. That we're so excited about. We even changed the art direction. <laughs> you guys noticed that. Uh, we got uh, James, uh, the famous TikTok guy. What how, how is what is his last name again? Let me let me look in the calendar. But we got James Reedwald. I heard nothing but good things about him. He's he joined us on thir on uh, Friday. And you guys know I was in the lab cooking, bro. I, was, I didn't go live yesterday, but you know I'm still in the lab. <laughs> Especially if you follow me on X, bro. Banger after banger. You got uh, community notes mad because I called out how Fico was critical of the Ukraine war. And you have uh, community notes on X lying and spreading fake news under my account right now. Here's the fate of the guy. We're going to get to that here very soon. Because, bro, the plot has thickened significantly since I did that hot spot, my friends. Good luck. Thank, thank God uh, Fico is in serious but stable condition. And that's why now you got the Western media that has permission to start smearing this guy. So you have, um, let me pull up the community notes. They put on my banger here that I put up here. Look, bro, this, this video, oh, wait, is it gone? Hold up, bro. Hold up. Is that another L that community notes took? Hold up. Is it really gone? Bro, let's go. Let's go. Oh, he no, died. No. <laughs> or no gets community notes, my friend. Is it really gone? I need someone in the chat to confirm this with me because I had a whole little fucking bit about this. Where community notes put... Because this video got 84,000 views on Twitter X. And then they send the NAFO army after me because it's like, man, this boy over here cooking. Bro, I just now realized that bro, I'm getting this live right now, my friends. Let's go. I am now 4-0 against community notes, my friend. You realize that? 
Every single time these motherfuckers try to test me. I told you guys I got the receipts, my friends. What a W. <laughs> so, you know, we, we got to celebrate our W, especially in, especially in these times. I did not realize that. Let me know. Let me know if you follow me on X. Look, check it as well. I don't see the damn community note. Cause you guys see, I was like, all right, bro. My the way I handle this is if you want to put a community note on me, I'm cool because I don't rely on ad revenue on Twitter. So I'm like, all right, if you want to fact check me, I'm a fact check the fact checker. So what community note note said, and I'm glad they removed it. They said they community noted me because they said Robert Fico was. Uh, they're like, actually, you're wrong. Robert Fico condemned Russia, and they're. I'm like, bro, he. I, you understand? I have receipts, right? <laughs> I am not Nick Fuentes. I'm not one of these people who just fucking put shit out there for likes and clicks. I can prove what I say, my friend. I said in my video that Robert Fico was critical of the Ukraine war. And that's exactly what he was. And you guys are gonna see how the media was smearing him. I guess I don't have to uh uh get into the community notes segment because bro, I was about to destroy them. They knew it. <laughs> Cause look, you you I was like, bro, I don't even care if you remove it. Cause I'm like, bro, look, community uh, like community notes is fake news. <laughs> now we see why community notes were so desperate to lie. And I was like, bro, community notes, just take the L already. Because in my video, I ne I didn't say that he killed robert fico because of his position on ukraine i just say hell yo this, this is very coincidence this is very uh just like always all these assassinations they always perfect for the west always very convenient for the west i just mentioned that he also opposed the who pandemic treaty refused to sign it was very outspoken against the vaccines these are the few things i'm not pretending that i'm a slovakia expert my friends but i knew a robert fico because of these things I knew of Robert Fico because I seen the Western media smear this man. You had CNN. I'm gonna show you guys the clip. We're seeing it since like, man, this motherfucker. Yeah, it kind of fucked up that this happened, but he kind of deserved it. If we're gonna be real with you, <laughs> like what, <laughs> bro? What a W. I was preparing for a whole. I would probably go. I was about to tear these motherfuckers apart. They actually took the communion. They actually took the uh, communion off. Uh, off. I guess I taught them something because they was like, wait, I thought Robert Fico was was anti-Russia. No, my friends, there's a reason why. And we've seen that Ukraine is very open to the idea of using political assassination as a tool. So first, I'm going to show you guys, like I already did, like some things that Robert Fico said that pissed off the West. Slovakia would veto Ukrainian membership in NATO. After that, I was like, man, bro, I don't know what they, I said jokingly that they're like, man, they about to kill this motherfucker, bro. You never underestimate the kind of criminal thugs that we have in our government. Now, let me read some other things that he said. Ukraine must get, Ukraine must give up territory to end the Russian invasion. He expects Russia to dictate terms for peace in Ukraine. He said, we can pour all the weapons of the world all the money there into Ukraine and Russia will never be defeated militarily. It is the turn of 2023 and 2024. And you will see that Russia will begin to dictate the turn for resolving this conflict. This boy, Robert Fico is spitting right now saying what Bernie Sanders in the entirety of the West, the, the left in the West is afraid to say, why well, should say the NATO left? Absolutely not the left. I gotta be clear on my language. Absolutely not the left. I I jokingly call them the NATO left because they think they're on the left and they support NATO. That's why I come up with that that funny name NATO left. It's a it's a oxymoron on purpose. Um, and this is you guys seen bro Sarah is a fucking bro. She brought a brought the fire on uh on hey. Tuesday. What's popping? Oh shit, we got Jay, hey. we got Jay. What's popping, bro? I just wanted to put in a little notation. Uh, I still saw community notes on the RBN side, but I did not see community notes on my side. So I don't know what's going on with X, but it's acting kind of weird. So yeah, it's, once again, it's all good. We already exposed these motherfuckers anyway. We yeah. see we'll get confirmed. Let me know. I see some. It's kind of confusing what's going on right now. But thank you, JB. 
my brother. You guys know Savvy and JB show is coming, it is returned. It's it's gonna come back stronger than ever. We got so much stuff going on. Our boy JB helped me produce. We got Rumble up and running. Bro, I tell you, this new era is a banger. Uh Sarah brought it, bro. Me, that's the first time me and Sarah had a conversation. We immediately, immediately clicked. Anyone who immediately anti-imperialist, bro. Someone who understands class struggle, bro, immediately be cool with. This is corn to them and her organization. Fico not out of danger. Shooter motivated by cessation of aid to Ukraine, among other reasons. And that's one of the reasons why uh, the community note, which try, they, they try community note me because they said, they were like, oh, you trying to tie the fact that he's anti Ukraine with the fact that he was assassinated? You know, that, that's how they were trying to get me. I was like, bro, I never said that for one. I just want to put this out there. And as I mean, my instincts proved to be right <laughs> because we are seeing this information come out that is continuing to vindicate our being once again. So community notes, <laughs> bro, you better chill, bro. I mean, nothing I can do to them. Only thing I can do is have fun. Use it to boost visibility of my tweets, I guess. But as you see here, the detainee cited, among other things, the cessation of arms supplied to Ukraine as the reason for the attack. And are you guys with a straight face about telling me that the West has nothing to do with this? Let me say, I'm, let me pose that as a question. Does this seem like something that is uncharacteristic of the CIA in Ukraine when Ukraine and their officials has openly said that going after officials who... Uh, who 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 jeopardized their war effort is on the table. They are supportive of assassination as a means to an end. So when you look at the the modus operandi, when you look at the people who engage in this kind of activity, it 100% lines up with the West and Ukraine, does it not? Once again, I'm not saying anything. I'm just telling you guys how you critically think. This this is this is critical thinking skills. Who engage in this kind of activity? Who has the motives? When you're in law, what do you use? You use the motives. This is the formula of critical thinking that a lot of people forgot about. <laughs> the CIA would never. Yeah, you know, that's something they don't do, apparently. And the Kasparian and TYT is seething. How dare you imply the CIA actually do stuff? Yeah, we know they got 20,000 uh, 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 employees on the books let alone off the books. But what do you think they actually do? They just twiddle in their thumbs. That what, that's the messaging of TYT and Anna Kasparian, my friends. Uh, Slavic poet, Jiraj Kentula, a supporter of the liberal progressive Slovakia party, explains he attempted to assassinate Prime Minister Robert Fico because he does not agree with the policies of the government. It's not in English, so no point in playing it. But that's what he say. How convenient, I'm going to say this, how convenient for the West, as I said in the video. I mean, I'm still looking, I need to look at my time. Are they really take the note off? That's hilarious. Good for them. Good for them for doing it. But I'm going to have fun. Uh, and I saw this as I was preparing to go live. This is from our brothers and sisters at Hotspot, uh, where he predicted his own assassination attempt. Like, bro, what? <laughs> they describe ruling coalition voters as misguided scum. I am waiting for this frustration to translate into the murder of a leading government official. Um, Progresívneho Slovenska si po prehratej prezidentskej sobote dávali Lexaurín a objímali sa so svojimi psíkmi a mačičkami, aby prekonali hrôzu demokratického víťazstva kandidáta vládnej koalície Petra Peregrinio. Voličov vládnej koalície označujú za poblúdených, za lúzu, ktoré treba zakázať voliť. Vraj sa hambia za susedov, ktorí oh, poznačujú za morálnu rustikánu. Look, my bad. That's why I should have the super chat while this guy was talking. Uh, fuck, my bad. Za poblúdených, za lúzu, ktoré treba zakázať voliť. 
vraj sa hambia za susedov, ktorých označujú za rurálno-rustikálnych. Jednoducho, všetci okrem nich sú po slovensky povedané primitívni debili. Po uliciach oplzlo nadávajú vládnym politikom. A ja už len čakám, kedy sa táto frustrácia, tak intenzívne prehlbovaná denníkom N, smečkom či aktualitami, pretaví do vraždy niektorého z popredných vládnych politikov. A to nepreháňam ani milimeter. Tieto a ďalšie médiá doslova nabádajú progresívneho voliča, aby bol hulvácky a agresívny. Osoby z verejného života podporujúce Petra Pelegrinyho ako napríklad pána Vega či Rytmusa verejne popravujú na výstrahu. A len preto, lebo si dovolia mať iný názor. Len preto, aby sa po prehre v parlamentných a prezidentských voľbách pre Boha neobjavila tretia prehra, aby každý s vlastným názorom vedel, čo ho čaká, ak nebude voliť, ako si želá. So I'm going to show you guys this for a second time. I got another clip from Boris Johnson I'm going to show you guys. And you guys seen the messaging from Robert ne- uh, Afiko regarding the Ukraine war. The West should have listened to him. And since he was willing to veto Ukraine membership, he stopped sending weapons to Ukraine. That is what put him on uh, the list of the uh, of The CIA will train an extremist, someone who's already frustrated, because we understand that governments fuck up. There will naturally be a, a segment of the population, often very extreme, that's against the government. And then what the CIA does, they cultivate the extreme segments, often a lot of class traders as, as well during the Cold War, to then prop them up, give them weapons, give them a plan, and they assassinate them. I mean, if you just study history, this is not nothing new. You guys see already how the, the Western media, now that he's not dead, is seething, calling Fico a known Kremlin synth- uh, sympathizer? No, he's not. Like, in the, once again, in the beginning of the Ukraine war, he condemned Putin for the invasion. These are stuff that our media lie by omission. He condemned Putin in Russia. His position was... No matter how much weapons and how much support we send to Ukraine, Russia is going to win. It is a national security threat not to negotiate with Russia, not to have good relationship with Russia. How is that a that how does that make you a Kremlin sympathizer for advocating for peace? Have you guys seen how absolutely insane the West has become? <laughs> 